hi guys so what's up so i'm i'm um, in this video i'm going to show you how to get an uh, how to marry your unit to an earl right so let's go um where's the trips um where's the unit um this one so how to marry an earl um let me show you the earl first um this one here so this unit i married to an earl um from a knight's family so she's ori she's originally a knight i just bought the baroness um title from oh wait a minute from signing since i got trusted now um reputation trusted so how to get uh, your unit to marry an earl tips so first of all i i think you need this um title right here the gorgeous even if you have um charming traits or all the good traits you still won't get um get um an earl or a higher rank title to marry you so i think um <clears throat> this uh, title right here um passive title title um on their uh, profile is important as well the gorgeous and and the at least this this uh this one works for me right <coughs> and i don't think it's only the gorgeous title there's also a smiling angel which i failed to marry since i get um impatient so just don't get impatient guys like i failed to marry this one she's also gorgeous so don't don't um get impatient on dating guys sometimes it's just really it really takes how old is she it takes time so like um um from age 15 this unit here from age 15 i tried to date <coughs> her so she get married like um from 19 or 18 maybe because she already has two uh, siblings um, i mean children uh, descendants right so i think i got her married to uh, on the age 18 so that's three years gap uh, for, uh, three years searching uh, to marry so tips to ma from marrying is just focus on your unit like on dating just spend all the letter on a single unit um, um like this and this is my next um prospect next target on dating so she's age 16 now and she's a baroness so i'm trying to get an earl also from her so also tips from i'm getting uh, to get an earl is um pray to the goddess um build uh, that these two uh, statue um, let's wait a minute um, this one uh, <laughs> I mean these two Awife and Queen so build these two statue guys since it will help you it really helps you to improve your dating so like pray on the second um, month of the year pray to these two goddesses and um, this one uh, Awife is for increasing the chance to meet the higher ranks. So that's higher rank than the Baron is Earl, right? Um, Queen is um, attraction. Uh, increase the number of times of dating in spring and uh, spring festival and castle dating. Pray for charm. Oh, um, the charm. Let's read um, the charm. There. Um, Pray for charm. Increase the success rate. There you go. The su success rate. So you will need these two. Um, Awife's blessing and Queen's blessing. So once once the ble uh, the prayer is answered, you can check on your unit like this. Check it here. It will appear here. Um, somewhere here. Uh, somewhere here. <laughs> it will appear like uh, this one. I prayed on Zoya. Um, let me just show you the effect once it gets um, answered, the prayer gets answered. I can click it. 
So, it will appear like this. So, not Zoya, right? Not Zoya, of course. Um, it will it will appear like that. Um, Awi Fest Blessing and Prince Blessing right here. And it will disappear. I don't know for how long it will stay there. It's not permanent. It's temporary. Maybe one year. I, I'm not sure. Just after you pray, uh, on the, uh, the next month, check your unit if the prayer gets answered. And after that, try to date. Even if the prayer doesn't get answered, guys, since the dating will refresh, right? It's going to be refreshed every fifth month, uh, fifth month of the year. So just spend your um, dating letters on your unit, and also um, attend the festival, guys. Um, the fifth month of the year, um, spring festival. Attend the ball for blind date, finding someone you adore. Okay, that's also to Mary. And I think, <laughs> I think this guy here, my um, Earl, I think I got her married to uh, the Spring Festival, not the castle dating, I think. I'm not sure. So, other tips. Um, other tips, guys, is <laughs> try to, not this one, try to build, uh, not this one. Where's <laughs> try to build <laughs> a flirt house <laughs> like I call it so this uh, unit here is training you to how to flirt <laughs> since I only got uh, this this guy here um, with smiling angel so that's one's good so if you have a unit with this um, traits don't um, don't uh, fire them so let them teach your the next uh, generation how to flirt. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, that's uh, my strategy on how to get my, uh, to get an Earl. So just just teach them how teach them. Um, you need you need charming, extreme charming, hour of charm, smiling angel, and other things to increase its own. It 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 the use is only to increase the flirt rate so other um charming like extreme charming is significantly increases flirt it just an improvement of charming right oh greatly so i don't know what's who's higher significantly or greatly i think extremely charming is higher than charming and arrow of charm is somewhat right it's only somewhat but you need that you need them at least get them off i don't i don't know if it stacks or it doesn't stack but i'm just putting my unit with flirt success rate um to teach uh, my generation my other units um these traits okay guys so that's my tips on how to get an earl <laughs> even if you're not an earl yourself so other things um, like try to focus on any of these um, titles here or reputation to get you trusted reputation so you can buy the title um, baron it's so even if you have um, no baron <laughs> like this but you have a gorgeous trait like this you can improve her status um, to Baroness since she's only, um, not that one, she's only a knight from a knight family, knight's family, okay? So that's just my tip on this uh, video on how to get an Earl. So thank you guys for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye!